not yet. Okay, hello YouTubers. So today we're doing a product review on Flame Forte's Butane Flame Torch. And I'm really excited because I made creme brulee. I've never made that before. And I'm going to sprinkle the brown sugar and sugar combination gently across the top. And then we're going to use the flame torch to melt the sugar. That should be delightful. So I'm just doing this quickly. And then my husband here, because I'm a little bit hesitant being pregnant and not having used it many times before, I'm going to let him have a shot at flame torching it for us, which is great. I think it looks yummy. I'm so excited to try this. It's going to be my sugary snack of the day. Just a little teaspoon of it. But it should be ultra delicious. It's going to be nice. Somewhere said I needed a sifter, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just improvising. Okay, so my husband here is going to lightly flame torch the creme brulee until it melts a little lower, maybe, I would say, for the flame. Oh, look at that. Can you see the blue? Ooh, it's going to crystallize and melt. Wow, that is some powerful stuff here, my friends. You're going to make a big circle around the edges. Oh, wow. This is our creme brulee. Are you excited or what, Cade? What? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> you got to get all the sugar and around the edges. Oh, wow. This looks so good. It smells good. If you ever smelled cotton candy, this is what it smells like. It smells delicious. Hand, so. I know. You got to keep your body safe. When you're using a flame torch. You got to get the edges to make sure it's crisp. I'm going to melt it a little more. There's a lot more sugar to melt. That's actually pretty cool. It is cool. Can you see, people, what it looks like? Imagine that. Crystallizing I sugar. Right, but... I think you are. It's also a really good cigar lighter. Mm-hmm. Always be careful when using an open flame of this type. <laughs> it's a pretty big flame. Katie, okay, you can hold over the chunk of sugar and it will melt it. I haven't done yet. No, you got to keep going around the edges. you got to crisp the edges of the creme brulee. Yeah, keep going. Just around the edges, make a huge circle around, a ring of it's fire. Like popping. Is, is that right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, keep going. All right, now get all the sugar because I don't see some of the sugar melted. And you really want to make sure that the sugar is melted on top. Because remember, when you put your, it's supposed to melt completely. Because when you put your spoon to the surface, it's supposed to make a cracking sound. Are they just putting enough sugar in? Oh, yeah. Do you think I should add a little more? Uh, should I make a bigger one? No, I, I mean, your flame's good. Just melt the sugar crystal. I think you don't put your finger in front of the flame. <laughs> That's a good idea. There you go. <laughs> that is a hot flame, my friends. Wow. Actually, you increase the flame by pushing this on the side. Maybe that might speed things up. Mm -hmm. That probably will do it. You don't want it to burn now. What, what am I doing wrong? Well, there's that one little spot. Uh, so I think I'd keep it on a medium temperature just to be safe. But boy, is this looking delicious. I get the melted chunks in the center. That big chunk. Oh, wow, that's what it's supposed to do. Did you see that, my friends? It went That big chunk, you're going to have fun with that. Look how cool this is, Kate. Isn't this what cool? What age group do you think you're talking to? <laughs> well, to people that have never used a flame torch before. This isn't on this one. That's true. I am a Montessori teacher, so I talk to preschoolers all day. All right. Let's see. I'm done yet. Well, I'd like you to melt those big chunks of sugar, please. Cause Is that watch. chunks of sugar? Yeah, those are sugar. Okay, good. Watch. Okay, you're good. And then the other one. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, that's going to look so good. 
And I'd melt that a little more because it's not really fully crystallized yet. Okay. Well, that is our flame torch. Cade, can you demonstrate how we shut it off, please? Yeah, there's a red button on the side. Okay, and you just shoot forward. There you go. And look, That's it easy. comes with this nice little stand to put it on. And it keeps your flame torch nice and safe. So thanks, Cade, for coming to our video today. And this is the creme brulee after we flame torched it. Looks good. I'm really excited. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.